All right, this example is for solving a quadratic equation uh, by using the factoring method. And this is within the delta mass system. And this is kind of a level two problem where the A value is not going to be equal to one. So the first thing we have to do is we have to write this in standard form, which means everything has to equal zero. So we're going to subtract 6x from both sides and subtract 10 from both sides. To rewrite the equation, we get this. We're going to get 5x squared minus 13x. And then we're going to get minus 6 equals 0. Okay? So now we're going to factor the left side. You can factor it any way you like. For students in my class, we are going to use the diamond and box method for this one. So and you need to show your work for me um, when you upload in Google Classroom to get credit on this assignment. So two numbers that multiply give you AC is going to be negative 30 on top. Have to add to the B value, which is negative 13 on the bottom. So you think of your possible factors of 30. That's going to get you to 13. We know that one's positive and one's negative since they multiply to give you a negative. So I'm thinking 15 and 2. And I want it to be negative 15 and positive 2. All right, we're going to use that in our box or our generic rectangle. Okay, because it's going to be 2x there. We're going to put the negative 15x here. You could do the vice versa, it doesn't matter. Upper left box, we put the 5x squared term. And the lower right box, we put the c value, which is negative 6. All right, let's start here. GCF going across the top, 5x squared and 2x. I can pull out just 1x. GCF going down that first column there, 5x squared and negative 15x. Oh, I can pull out 5x. All right, double check yourself. 5x times x give you 5x squared? Yes, it does. All right, x times what is 2x? 2. 5x times what is negative 15x? Negative 3. All right, now we can write this equation out in factored form. So what we have is 5x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 3 has to equal 0. All right, now we're ready to apply zero product property by setting each factor equal to 0. So again, students in my class, I want to see this work. So I want to see 5x plus 2 equals 0. I want to see x minus 3 equals zero. Now we solve these, these two baby equations, right? Subtract two, subtract two. 5x equals negative two. Divide both sides by five. x equals negative two fifths. All right, this one we just add three to both sides. Boom, x equals three. So negative two fifths, I believe delta math will let us do it either way as a decimal number. It would be negative 0.4. You get that, use your calculator, go negative 2 divided by 5. Or I'm just going to put it in as a fraction. So I'm going to go negative 2 over 5. Then I'm going to hit comma. It gives me my solution set automatically pops up. And then I put my other solution is 3. All right, we're going to submit and see if we get it right. And we did. And that's all you have to do to solve by factoring.